ever caught headline like this model just outsmarted GPT-4 and thought, really? Today we are going on an exploratory journey into the world of large language models, or LLMs for short. We are uncovering some not so secret secrets behind those flashy AI leaderboards. Buckle up, it's going to be an enlightening ride. Before we dive in, let's set the stage. Remember the buzz around the model Phi 1.5 and its benchmark data leak issue? I've got a whole video on that saga. If you missed it, check that out. But that's the center stage of this whole video. So our main story today is thought-provoking paper titled, Do Not Make Your LLM an Evaluation Benchmark Cheater. I know a bit of a mouthful tongue twister, but behind this title lies a critical message for the AI community. It's about fine line between training a model and inadvertently spoon feeding the right answers. This diagram explains it way better. So imagine this is your pre-training data set. And when you train your LLM on just pre-training data set, it is scoring about 10, 11, 12. But now you have a little bit of leakage and you have a benchmark data set in your training data set, just a little bit, just this much. And because of that, now your LLM knows how to cheat. So that's why it is showing rank number one and this much improvement, but that's not real improvement. It didn't learn anything. And to prove that point, look at this table. As you can see, all of these GPT LLM models are having a lower performance initially, but as you have more and more SP training data set in it, they perform really better. So for example, for Open Llama, it went from 26 to 87. For Llama 2, it went from 42 to 96. But completely opposite happens when you test this model. So for example, without any data leakage, if you train the model, the testing accuracy is 41. But if you have all of the leakage available in pre-training data set, although it performed really well initially, Right now it's only performing 34, so worse than without having any training data set. So it's a balance. You want to train your model on all the pre-training data set, but don't include any of the validation or benchmark data set in it. It's going to perform well in real life. Picture this, when an LLM are trained with bits of benchmark data hidden in their training sets, it's like a student getting test questions in advance. Sure, they might ace the test, but did they learn anything actually? This is something that is actually happening in some corners of AI world. But here's where it gets really interesting. Training with leaked data isn't just about misleading ranking. It's about integrity of what AI is learning. The difference between memorizing and understanding. And in the field of AI, that is very crucial. Okay, enough problem talk. Let's discuss the solutions. How do we ensure our AI models are getting wholesome education, not just acing tests? And the recipe is simple, clean diverse training sets and scoops of transparency. This reminds back when I was dabbling into coding competitions on Kaggle, I saw people finding loopholes to climb up the ladder. It is similar in the AI world as well. We need our models to be like competitors who want through skill, not through shortcuts. So let's just circle back to the paper itself. It does more than wave a red flag. It offers a roadmap by analyzing various models and benchmarks. The author shows us just how skewed results can get when training data gets contaminated. When AI models train on leaked data, they might shine in one area but dim in other. It's like being great at math but struggling in literature. Balance is the key. This paper highlights that beautifully. Why does this matter to you and me? Well, it's about future of AI. We want AI that can think, reason, innovate, not just pass tests. It's about building technology that enhances our world, not just impress on paper. In wrapping up, let's champion AI that's as wise as it's smart. We are on the brink of something big. It's up to us to steer it in the right direction. So let's spread the word, stay informed, push AI that truly understands. If you like the video, consider subbing to the channel, join our tiny community of AI enthusiasts and join our newsletter as well. See you in the next video.